Alright kids, see if you can follow me. I think I've come up with a good solution here for my wiring. So we have four outer lugs which are common, which get wired to our volume pot. That's fine. It's just like any other switch. But then we have... Ooh, if you count them up! If you look at each, each side of the switch has five lugs times two. So five lugs each side of the switch times two. So we already know that for each position, wherever it's engaged, right? So when I have it down here, what I want, you can see where it engages. So my diagram is a bit backwards, but you'll see. So you can see that in position one, it engages this lug here and this lug here, and then moves its way down the dial that way. So yeah, my diagram's totally backwards, but it still works. I can still follow my own diagram backwards. But basically, I want in position one just the bridge pickup on its own. So you can see in position one I'm only engaging the bridge pickup and nothing else and a tone pot. In position two I'm engaging just the bridge and again same tone pot. Position three I'm engaging just the neck and again just tone pot. But then it gets more interesting at position four because we've taken the middle pickup and we've bridged it to this lug which will get engaged in this position along with this lug which will get engaged in position four which will then mean I have a combination of the middle and the neck. Uh, then in position five, oh, I forgot to complete that part of the drawing, sorry. This should continue on. Anyway, yeah, so in position five, when we move, so it's gonna engage these two lugs, which means I'm gonna get a combination of the neck, and if I follow this train, I'm gonna get a combination of the neck in the middle, and I've brought this one over here because remember, that side's going to get engaged as well. So in position five, you'll get a combination of the neck, middle, and bridge. And in position four, it'll be just middle and neck. And then the other three positions will be just the pickups on their own. So I think that'll be a fun little use of the super switch. Um, this is just something I thought of in my head, and I figured this would work, and I figured since there's no, there's really no diagrams for specifically what I want to do, I thought I'd just try my, make my own, and I think this is going to work. So, I'm, uh, I'm going to try and follow that. Anyway, okay, so hopefully that explains what I'm doing in a nice, simple way. Okay, I think earlier I said that my wiring diagram was backwards, but it actually turns out it's totally right. So, just the way I actually wired it is exactly the way I want it. So you can see there, if I flip it over, and it's in position one, the lug, the lugs that it's engaging are... the very first set on this side and then on the second bank this very first set. So exactly the way I've got it wired is the way I'm going to wire it. Oh, exactly the way I've got it diagrammed is the way I'm going to wire it. So awesome, yeah, that's gonna work. Sweet! So I gotta remove this tone cap and put on my nice little orange drop one, redo a little bit of this wiring, but I've got the first bit of this kill switch wired up Still works, still getting resistance the way I want. Keeping my fingers crossed that, that this thing works and that it doesn't make a loud, ugly, poppy noise when I engage it. That's what I'm a bit worried about. But 
If it does act up, it'll be easy to remove from the circuit. This was just a fun little neat little idea that I was hoping would work, so. Experiment! Fingers crossed that it works. So, on to wiring this bastard now. Just gonna double check my wiring, take a little break, and then get back to wiring this thing. But yeah, I've confirmed just by looking at it, just to see which, which lugs are engaged. You can see that I have indeed wired it. I have indeed diagrammed it correctly. Sweet! I just made my own diagram and figured out my own switch just by looking at it. It's so neat that you can visually see what this is doing. That's what helped me work out what the hell this, is thing, this thing was doing. It's awesome. Alright, I hate to disappoint, but most of this wiring is done now. I wanted to do this carefully without having to worry about having a, how I was going to film it. But anyway, yeah, it's mostly done. You can see here that I have indeed followed my plan. So I've got bridge pickup, middle pickup, neck pickup. Bridge pickup gets connected to this lug which is engaged in position 4, which engages also the middle pickup, or uh, the neck pickup. And then in position 5, you get neck, middle, and bridge. And then I got my tone wired into one lug, and then soldered into the rest. And let's see what else. Yeah, so that's, that's bridged all into there. Now I just have to run my common wire from that one to that one, that one to that one, out to my volume pot, and away we go. We are nearly done, nearly done, yeah, nearly done.